hello hello everyone hi what's up it's me angie welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me today <laughs> my cat is very interested in what's going on right now um i have twitch up while my cat is just sitting on my computer and very interested in what's going on in my space <laughs> oh oh she's also very tired <laughs> oh lovely p you have you can't be doing that you have to choose what you want to do. <sighs> now, how am I supposed to film this video? How am I supposed to do any work right now when Miss P is just being as cute as ever? And usually, she just wants to jump out of my arms. She's literally just sitting here, hanging out with me. So I guess I could film my intro like this. So today's video is a little get ready with me, not a music and makeup this time around. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys and just chat, catch up. It's 2024, wild. And I just wanted to sit down, chat a little bit, catch up into my makeup. And so I figured let's do a little get ready with me. Let's do a little chit chat, get ready with me. Let's get ready together. Wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, we could hang out and get ready together. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel and hang out with me. I do upload twice a week, but but something I am going to talk about later on is possibly uploading three times this year. Three times a week in 2024. We could talk more about that later. But if music and makeup and adorable cat interests you at all, I think you should definitely subscribe and give us a, few a thumbs up while you're at it. But if you decide to do neither of those things, I totally understand. I just appreciate you being here and hanging out with me today because I know you have lots and lots of videos you watch here right now. So the fact that you stopped by and clicked on my video to watch out of all the ones you could click on instead, I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, honey. If you guys don't know, this is Panini, my kitten. I adopted Black Friday of last year. Actually, I picked her up. That is her gotcha day. Our foster parents named her Panini, and it has stuck. Oh man, stop! I can't. I need to film this video, but she's just getting more and more comfortable. I'm gonna put you down, okay, Miss P? Okay, she's over there on the bed. I think she's she's doing okay. She's happy over there right now. Okay, let's get into this video. So I'm actually filming this in 2023 still because I want to get a head start on 2024 videos because I'm going to be away the last week of December. And so I don't want to like stress about getting videos up in time the week I get back from my vacation. So when this goes up, it will be 2024 wild every year just goes by faster and faster i feel like i see this every year but every year just feels like it happens in a blink of an eye during it it feels like the longest year ever and then it gets to the end of the year and you're like wait it's already the end of the year how did this happen already um 2023 was probably one of the hardest years of my life i always think it can't get much worse and then it does i think honestly what i think is the issue is that I don't realize how good I have it when I do have it and then it gets worse and I'm like I totally forgot about all these good things I had back then. I really need to like learn how to live like in the present. Um, that's always been a big issue. I've always been really really impatient and I've always been looking at the future and thinking about the future and how much better things will be in the future that I forget to appreciate the present and the future gets here and I'm like, I wish I appreciated the past more. I know these videos don't like get a lot of views, so I appreciate anybody who's watching this video right now. Um, these videos and like, I feel like any video that's not like a reaction video truly are like passion videos or passion pro project videos, if that makes sense. I really do love these videos, but you know, my audience might not love them as much, so they don't get many views, but I always am excited to film these types of videos where it just feels more chill and it feels more intimate and I love just kind of getting personal and, you know, talking about different topics and other topics and serious topics that are more, you know, relatable to me and things like that. But yeah, as for 2023, um, definitely, uh, I'm definitely happy it's 2024, but I definitely am feeling a lot of anxiety about it being 2024 because I feel like there's a lot of things that are definitely gonna like come over into 2024 that I really don't want and I really wish I could keep those bad things in 2023 but you know I gotta 
still work on them and I gotta do things and and whatever and so I know I'm being very vague so sorry if that's annoying but there's a lot of things I really wanted to work on in 2023 but I just haven't had the time I feel like I could feel it like spilling over in 2024 and it feels like it's like already heavy on me and like I feel it on my shoulders and I wish I could just like I don't know like get rid of it I guess but I can't because I don't have time to like I don't have time to figure this shit out it's gonna bleed into 2024. Something I really really wanted to do in 2024 that didn't happen was hit 10k subscribers on this YouTube channel which is a little disappointing. I really really wanted to hit 10k this year and I remember last year in 2022 um, really wanted to hit 10k in 2022 and then not happening and so, and so I remember thinking okay well, I'll definitely hit it in 2023 I definitely will like I'll definitely hit 10k subscribers in 2023 and I haven't and that's really just like disheartening I guess and just sucks I put so much work and time in these videos and I don't want to come off as ungrateful because I am so so grateful for everybody watching I know just things take time it just is frustrating whenever you know you really wanted to hit a milestone this year and it didn't happen in 2023 um so hopefully we can hit 2024 i think we will at this point in filming we are at 8,000 subscribers so that is so so many and i really hope we could get to 10,000 and get 2,000 more subscribers in 2024 we shall see crossing my fingers that happen 10k feels like this milestone i don't know it just feels like once i hit 10k i feel like things will change for me i don't know 20k will happen soon after that and like 20k feels like oh my god just so many people and like feels like a lifetime away you know it's not to say that i'm not happy with the growth that i've had on this channel this year it's been a beautiful beautiful journey so earlier i did mention i was thinking about uploading three times a week this year which feels like a big task but i feel like last year there were so many like things I wanted to upload and videos I wanted to make, but I just didn't have time to. I wanted to stick with uploading just two times a week, but I think if I like play my cards right, I could upload three times a week and I could put out more content that I really do want to put out. I just like, I had this weird like rule in my head that I can only upload twice. And so I feel like sometimes when I did that, I had to not, not do certain videos I wanted to do because it would mess up my mess up my schedule but if I chose to actually do it three times a week and plan it right like where I would have time to film three videos a week I think we could do it I think that would just be so much better for my channel and I can make so much more content that I want to make but I couldn't before so I'm gonna try and do that I think I'm gonna try and upload Monday Wednesday and Saturdays. So I was thinking about starting a Patreon, which I feel like I've mentioned this so many times. There's just so many things I want to do, but I can't do it on YouTube due to copyright. Like I really want to like watch the 1989 tour documentary with you guys, with you guys, but I can't do that because of copyright. Um, I would just get blocked off YouTube, and I, God forbid, I can get a copyright strike. And if you get three copyright strikes, your channel gets terminated. So I don't want to. I don't want to like, you know, poke the bear with that one. There's so many things I want to do, I just can't do it. I think the Patreon might be the move. But I also don't want to like force to pay to see me. But also if I don't get paid to make these videos because they are copyrighted, so it would be nice. But also like I don't even know how many of you guys would actually do that because I don't have that many viewers. I don't want to like put my time into making Patreon exclusive videos and then no one subscribes, you know? Like I, I need to make the time of me working extra and making extra videos worth it for the time does that make sense like if i have one or two people <laughs> that are subscribed to my patreon for like five dollars a month that's only ten dollars a month i'm getting and i'm filming so much more an extra video it's a lot to film and edit on top of on top of my channel where i upload two three times a week and on top of my <laughs> job oh another thing that's really exciting that happened recently is i got a new computer that is actually specifically for gaming. <laughs> I got a gaming computer for Christmas. Thank you, thank you to my wonderful boyfriend for getting me this computer. So I've been wanting a gaming computer for so, so long. So I am so excited that I got one for Christmas. I have a Mac and it's really hard to play games on Macs, especially games that I would play like I really want to play like The Sims and stuff. It's just hard to play on a Mac. So I'm really excited to be playing Sims on my new gaming computer and like other games like Stardew Valley. So that's really exciting that I can do that now with my gaming computer. I mean, I 
I could use it for everything and anything because it is just a computer, but it's specifically for gaming, which is really cool. It's an Acer, it's an Acer Nitro 5, whatever that means, but it's so cool. I was thinking about starting to stream on Twitch. I don't know if that will actually happen because it seems really complicated and hard to use, but I do have another monitor already. Um, so I was thinking about maybe streaming on Twitch, but I don't know. It just seems really hard, and I'm also just scared to. It's like no one's gonna watch. That's really embarrassing. If that's something you might like me to do and would be down to watch, let me know and maybe I'll start streaming on Twitch. I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure out if I have the time really in the first place to do so. I don't know. It feels like a lot. Like I wanna do a Patreon. I also wanna do Twitch. I also, I wanna upload three times to YouTube, but I also have a real job. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> As much as I do have this like anxiety going into 2024, I also have a lot of excitement about it because new year means new possibilities, it means a fresh start, and it means another chance to be better and do better and grow. And that's just so exciting too, that the possibilities are just exciting. There's certain things I want to try and I want to get back to doing that I maybe fell off from doing and I there's a lot of things that I want to try and get together this year. Um, I mentioned how last year was really hard and it was really hard and I think 2024 is like the picking up the pieces of 2023 starting to like work on everything that kind of fell apart quote-unquote last year. I don't want fear to hold me back anymore. I just want to like not give a fuck and that's something I've worked on I feel like for so so long. I feel like I definitely got to a place where I didn't give a fuck for a long time but then circumstances change and things change and I feel like I'm like kind of regressed a little bit in that aspect. But yeah, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for this year. I, like I said, I really have a lot of hesitations about it, but I'm determined to not let that hold me back. I want 2024 to be a year of getting my shit together. Last year, I feel like I was doing that pretty well, but then I just kind of got pushed down. A lot of change, a lot of things that I feel like I just was putting off kind of came to light and I just have to deal with a lot of things that I just felt like I just wasn't ready to deal with, but I need to deal with them. Like, girl, you're a 26 year old, deal with this shit. So I think 2024 is gonna be the year of finally getting, getting it together, but let's be real, do we ever really have it together? No, life is tough. Your 20s is a, is a tough time. And I thought that, you know, by 25, I thought things would look so much differently for me. I'm just trying to have it all figured out, which brings me to my birthday. So I am turning 27 very soon. In a couple of weeks, my birthday is at the end of January and I, I don't want to turn 27. I thought turning 25 that year up until 26 was going to be a lot different than it was. And I thought 25 was going to be me getting my shit together. And now I'm almost 27 and I still have not gotten my shit together at all. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's another thing that's like kind of weighing on me is my birthday and I know it's coming up and I really just am so nervous about it. Like I just don't want my birthday to come. One reason being I just don't want to turn 27. Like that makes me want to throw up honestly thinking about it because I'm like, I feel like I'm like 21 still, you know, I definitely don't feel 27 at all. Again, I'm definitely not the place where I thought I would be at 27, like at 23 maybe, sure, but 27, I still don't have it together. It kind of, um makes you a little anxious to think about. When you're younger, birthdays are so, so exciting. And then as you get older, they actually turn into like dread. And that's how I feel. I just dread my birthday. I don't know, I don't even know what I want to do for my birthday. Last year, my birthday just felt like a bit of a flop. Ugh, birthdays are just so exhausting. As I've gotten older, they just have always felt more and more exhausting. I really don't even know if I'm gonna even really do anything for my birthday this year. I'm leaning towards really not. I just don't want to be disappointed again this year. Gosh, I need to do my eyebrows. Right, let me let me be right back. Let me do my eyebrows. And I'll be right back. All right, we're back with the eyebrows on. Plans for 2024. Let's talk about that. I definitely always want to travel. I always want to take at least three trips a year. I don't know what's going to happen this year. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like I'm just going to be working so much this year in 2024 that I don't know if I'll have time to take it three trips so who knows two or one will do me and my girlfriends have been saying we want to go to new york for so so long so maybe we'll do that i've also been wanting to go to chicago for so so long i definitely want to take another cruise this year i know i will be going to a couple concerts this year so i'm really excited for that i already have tickets to see olivia rodrigo at madison beer in concert 
So I'm excited for that. I definitely want to go to a hockey game this year. Oh my god, I'm getting mascara everywhere. The trick for mascara is you want to let it dry because if you don't, you're just going to smudge it. But if, it's, if you let it dry on your face, you just scratch it off. It's a lot cleaner. So yeah, I definitely want to do three trips. Don't know what. I think I definitely want to save one trip out of the three trips I want to do this year. I definitely want to save one for being New Year's Eve trip. I would love to maybe spend New Year's Eve in Colorado, so maybe go there after Christmas. I definitely want to spend New Year's Eve in Colorado one of these years. I think that would be really fun. And I feel like I had this vision of like High School Musical 1 where they're in the ski resorts for New Year's, you know? Like maybe we could do something like that. Do you guys remember that? How Troy and Gabriella met at the karaoke, met in, at karaoke in that like, ski resort on New Year's Eve? Let's see, this, is this dry? Yes it is. Scrape that shit off. And then I also want to go on a cruise for sure next year. Uh, we didn't get to go on one this year, so I definitely want to go on one next year. So I think that would be trip two. Then trip three, I want to maybe go on like a, a girl's trip, whether it be like out of state or somewhere in Florida. Like it could be a staycation, it could be like a Disney thing or a Miami thing. But those that's what I'm thinking about for, in terms of trips. In terms, in terms of like trip trips, I definitely always like to go on like little day trips or like quick weekend trips here and there. Um, let me finish my makeup and then we'll, I think we could just wrap this up. I think I've just been talking for so long and I feel like I'm just rambling on honestly. So let me finish my makeup and then we can close out this video. I can give you my final thoughts. I am back and we are done with the makeup. I think we're done with this video. I really love how the makeup came out. I think it looks really, really, really pretty. So yeah, let me see if I, did I talk about everything I want to talk about in this video? I have a little bullet point list here. Talked about 10k subs, talked about how I wanted to upload three times a week this year, talked about my gaming computer and how maybe I'll start a Twitch. I've been having so much fun playing Sims just on my own though, it's been really fun. I'm playing for 2024 and hoping 2024 is better than 2023. That is everything for this video, that's everything I want to talk about. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, I know it was a bit of rambling, I know I feel like I just ramble on a lot in my videos so I hope it made sense and I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless that's all I have to say so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today I appreciate and love you guys so so much if you would like to I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel before you left if you're not subscribed already and give this video a big thumbs up it really helps with my channel it helps with the YouTube algorithm and all that by engaging it with the content so commenting and subscribing if you'd like to would mean a lot to me and yeah, that's all I have to say, so I'm gonna get going now. I love you guys so, so much, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!